the water. How does the voice thing actually work in the Dune universe? The voice is actually a secret psychological manipulation technique. These people use a specific tone and body language to manipulate or persuade their victim into performing particular activities. Is that a black magic? The answer is no. This manipulation technique is a lot like hypnotizing someone for making him act the way you like. But the voice manipulation technique doesn't work on the strong-willed people. Spice is used by the navigators of the Spacing Guild to find safe paths between the stars. I would love to clear a confusion over here that spice is not used as a fuel for interstellar traveling. It is consumed like a food by the navigators inside the spacing guilds to perform complex astronomical calculations to find out the safest paths for interstellar traveling. A great man doesn't seek to lead. He's called to it. And he answers. Responsibility is not something you try to discover in your life. Responsibility is a call that you answer. That's why it is called call of duty. The duty calls you and then you respond like an ideal citizen. In the beginning, Paul was not interested in joining his father in the politics but right after his death, he decided to take the responsibility of his mother and the Fremen tribe members. This was such an amazing dialogue. How many times do we have to tell you? <clears throat> tell us you by your footsteps, Gurney Halleck. In the aftermath, you can again get to see Paul Atreides recognizing Gurney Halleck by the sound of his footsteps right before the spy Sylvester. He was really familiar with the footsteps and walking style of Gurney Halleck. Goodbye, young human. I hope you live. Why did the woman wish Paul that he might stay alive? This bitch was actually speaking the words in her mind to the face of Paul Atreides. When she heard about the dreams of Paul, she realized from the very beginning that Paul has been developing the ability to foresee his future. And this ability is a perfect match for the Kwisatz Hadera they had been trying to breed for so long. That's why she decided to keep Paul Atreides alive and also bargained with Baron Harkonnen for the life of Paul and his mother. But his wife is under our protection and by extension, her son. Allow them the dignity of exile. You were told to bear only daughters. But you in your pride thought you could produce the Kwisatz Haderach. Why are the Jesuit bitches ordered only to bear daughters? Well, the Bene Gesserit sisterhood do not have a strong desire of bearing males in the womb. They are majorly focused on giving birth to females only. But yes, they also have a strong desire of getting a male Bene Gesserit, which they call the Kwisatz Hadera. And that's why they had a strong interest in Paul Atreides. He has the physical strength of his father, Leto Atreides, and the mental strength of his mother, Lady Jessica Gesserit. Now, another question might come to your mind that why only a man can become a Kwisatz but not a woman. To be honest, I couldn't manage to find out any logical reason behind that, neither in the movie nor in the novel. It has been described that only a male Bene Gesserit has the ability to get access to the ancestral memories of both males and females, but no scientific reason has been provided yet. Thousands of years, we've been carefully crossing bloodlines to bring forth one. Why did it take thousands of years of careful breeding just to get one Kwisatz Hadera? Well, a Hadera is the combination of the genetics of a strong man and a highly trained Bene Gesserit female. But getting the perfect gene of a strong man literally took them thousands of years until they found out Leto Atreides. Now, this timeline doesn't make any sense to me because this task could have been done faster than that. Even the novel doesn't have any logical explanation behind this. Each one of these drinks every day the equivalent of five men. Should we remove them? Save the water? No, 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 no. These are sacred. For you, it might be a very normal conversation, but I can show you a very deep and sensitive message from this. Religion is a virus that can manipulate you into throwing away nutritious milk into the water and drink unhygienic urine from an animal. It can make you waste billions of dollars in constructing new new temples and statues but neglect the needs of the truly desperate people on the streets. Just like this, the religious superstitions planted by the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood have made the Fremen tribe members care more about just a couple of trees they consider to be sacred than the lives of the living human beings in Arrakis. Their heart is too blind to understand that giving this water to those 100 desperately thirsty people is more important than the lives of the so-called sacred palm trees. My Arrakis.
This was the one and only time when the word Dune was pronounced in the entire franchise of chapter 1 and 2. You need to drink. It's recycled water from the tank. Sweat and tears. Have you ever wondered exactly how the tents of the Fremen people recycle sweat and tears? The tents refine and reuse evaporated water of the people living inside the tent and turn that into drinkable water. The sweat and tears usually get evaporated because of the warm weather in Arrakis. In the movie, Paul Atreides had a vision where he saw Jamis as a friend but Shani as an enemy. But in reality, the situation was the exact opposite and it works as a crystal evidence that the visions of Paul was not accurate enough and he has a long way to go for becoming the most anticipated Kwaizatz Hadera. Did you understand what the whispered voice inside Paul said to him? The inner voice of Paul Atreides was telling him that in order to become the Kwaizat Sadara, Paul must have to eliminate his fear. In this case, the death of Paul Atreides is related to his weakness, not his life. Why did Jamis have to die in the end of the movie? Well, let me ask you something. What do you think is a better option for you? Being considered a failed fighter to a teenager? Or being considered a martyr who died fighting his opponent? I guess you have chosen the right answer. And guess what? Jamis also decided to end his life in the most honorable way possible. Do you know its meaning? It's a maker. The maker of the deep desert. Why are the sandworms considered to be the makers of the deep desert? Well, the consistent movement of the sandworms burrows and churns the desert, giving it a beautiful and wavy terrain. Also, the most expensive millage, named as a spice, is also produced from the larvae of the sandworms. So, these creatures, from a realistic point of view, are not actually the makers of the deep desert. But yeah, without the presence of the sandworms in the desert, there could be no spice and no beautiful wavy terrain in Arrakis.